decomposing gloves here and I am trying to find a way to batch relocate all my libraries. This is a new machine and because of that, uh, Native Access is the dumbest program on the planet. You can't give it uh, a, a library and tell it where it's at and say, hey, find all my old libraries because I have all these on an external drive. They want me to either re-download all the libraries um, or do this. So I have them on the external drive. So you have to go to click, uh, locate. You have to go to where they're at and click on the folder. And they want me to do this for all of these folders. It's totally stupid. Like, who? I don't even, man, this is the dumbest thing, man. I'm not happy about it at all. <laughs> it pisses me off. There is a workaround. Um, this is on the forms, by the way. I didn't come up with this. Evil Dragon uh, is the one. He's he's a legend. He comes up with all the solutions. Go to your... You, you need to back this up now, just in case. So I had to wipe my machine, but I have a laptop that has all the same stuff on it. Um, and I was able to grab the registry files from there. But you need to go into the registry. So you just uh, go to Reg Edit. Just type in registry. You go to the registry editor. It'll pull this up. And you can look through these and you need to go to three of them. You need to get the current user software native, blah, 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 blah. So if you go over to current user, go down to software and then to native instruments, uh, you can right click on this and go to export. And you need to export three directories like this. One of them is in the current users, the one we just looked at. The other one's in the local machine. The local machine one, again, you go to software and then you come down to native instruments, export this. And you also need to go to the WoW6432 node, come down here and export the native instruments under that one. There'll be links or there'll be like file path in the, in the description if you're confused. So yeah, you want to right click those, export them, back them up now. Uh, a lot of backup services don't back up registry files. So you need to have it somewhere that's safe and on a separate drive. That way, if you ever find yourself in this situation, because there's no way I'm, I thought about doing a live stream where all I do is click this. But anyways, we should be able to just double click and hit yes and let it do its thing. And just do this for each of them. And I realized my screen goes dark during some of this. Okay, so uh, that should be it. So if we close this and go back to Native Access again, they just updated Native Access too. Like this is brand new, like literally a few days old. Hopefully they'll add this. Like this is so stupid. This isn't a thing. This is totally ridiculous that they have a thing because they know there's so many libraries and then they, they pull this kind of BS. Okay, so this is something we can work with. So it's like, oh, you know, all this stuff uh, busted or demo. Uh, so we can go to relocate all. This is the button I wanted. You click relocate all, uh, you give it the location, you select the folder and you hit confirm and it's gonna look for the names. I don't understand why this isn't just a, yet see that like wowzers that's amazing so you hit confirm uh, I have no idea about this demo stuff uh, they should not be demo uh, so there's some that it probably didn't work on but this solves a large portion of them why does this say demo I don't understand it seems to have marked so much stuff as demo what the heck okay so I'm gonna try this instead I am going to close this. I'm going to uninstall native access. We're going to get rid of native access 2.0 because it's not working. Yes, get rid of it. I don't know if this is a 2.0 thing or not, but I'm really quick going to pull up my downloads and I have the, an older version of native access that I can install. So I'm going to install this instead. Ah. Oh, look at this. It's, it's working. I didn't do anything. I just waited. And it's going through and giving me the full version of uh, everything. I don't know if this is a new one versus an old one kind of deal. If this was working on the previous version. 
Uh, but maybe this is an important step. I'm going to leave it in the video because this is what worked. Um, oh, yeah, there it goes. Full version, full version, full version. All right. So uh, this appears to be what works. Uh, I'll get back to you in just a sec after it's done doing this. All right, we're back. Totally worked. It, it found it all. It's all uh, properly functioning now. Now, the... The Spitfire instruments are in a nested library, which is why these aren't showing up. So I'm going to go to relocate all, browse, I'm going to go to my contact instruments, and these ones are in the Spitfire instruments uh, subfolder. So I'm just going to click that, hit select folder, and relocate. And yeah, so it found all of those, and that was great. Uh, finally, we're missing, this is like heaviosity stuff. I thought they were in that folder as well. Um, I don't believe I have nested folders. Oh yeah, heaviosity is a nested folder. See, this is another thing. Please tell me that this is going to get fixed too. Like, I should be able to just give it the root folder, and it should just check for all the names, and it should check all the subfolders. Like, that's what it should be. Okay, so we got nearly everything. Uh, there's still a few weird ones. Like, I don't know why this one didn't go or um, these. Uh, so we can really quick see what is it looking for. Oh, whoops. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, we want to relocate. It's looking for C program files, native instruments, VST 64-bit plugins. Okay, so we just need to give it the 64-bit plugin path, which uh, this is definitely no longer it. So if we go to relocate all, hopefully this fixes them all in one fell swoop. Um, for me, I put them on the C drive. I moved all of them there because this VST 64 bits get installed like all over the place by different, uh, manufacturers or programmers or whatever. So, um, I put them all underneath common files, VST two, and then native instruments has its own folder. So I just select that relocate. Did it work? It, it didn't freaking work. Maybe it just doesn't work on um, on these. Let's see. Let's try going at it the other way. Let's go for this. We'll go for program files, common files, VST2. This is, by the way, where I recommend you do it now. Um, it seems to be just a little bit more standard. All right. Uh, and can I tell it just to look in here? Select this folder, relocate. All right. Well, that worked. Um, oh. Dang it. Uh, relocate. Uh, browse. It doesn't remember the freaking folder I was just in. Okay. Uh, can I? No, I can't. All right. I'm, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do relocate and go back to that folder. Which is in common files. Okay. We're going to copy this folder. So I'm going to select it. This VST location is invalid. Does it exist? What are you talking? Yes, it exists. Do I do this? Is this what you want? We'll copy this location. To repair the install. It's the most useless help information I've ever seen. Why is it unhappy with this? This is where, where it's at, isn't it? Let's check in another folder. Native Instruments, Guitar Rig 6, DLL. You guys can see it, it's right there. I swear, I don't understand this process at all. I have one other idea. I might just cut forward to this if, if this is the issue. If you come up here to your like little guy and go to preferences and then under preferences, go to the 64 bit location. And I think we need to update this. So we'll go here, choose native instruments, select and save. Now hit, uh, not relocate, but let's refresh. See if that fixes this. Well, I'm going to stop here. Uh, this worked almost all the way. Um, so this is way, way, way better than going through and doing this for every friggin' library. Um, 
but I'm still going to have to go through and spot fix some of these things like uh, this one and uh, the plugins and stuff. The, honestly, the applications aren't that bad. Uh, to, to finish it off, I'll probably actually uninstall this and install version 2.0. And, and there's a reason for that. So if we really quick uh, remove native access, 2.0 does have an advantage um, in that... And I'm not sure if what happened was specific to 1.0 or 2.0. I also, while we're here, wish you could specify more than one location for content and it should be able to handle that. Like you should have, you know, I don't know, four or five options in case you, down the line you need to buy a bigger hard drive and it doesn't all conveniently fit on one hard drive anymore. What do you do? You're just really screwed when it comes to this process because uh, now you've got a whole bunch of drives everywhere and there should be a, the ability to deal with that. If I want to have, you know, my stuff spread across three drives, I should be able to do that. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the reason I'm going to do it here is because this is all working now, which is fantastic. And these are easier to fix because they have uh, applications. And you can see they're all just the applications. So these would be easy to fix. Um, I like the categories, even though um, it's got its issues. I do think this is a step in the right direction. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, it really is a shame that this is as complicated as it is right now. And I really hope it gets better in the future. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.